Hello, or should I say ho, 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 or maybe bah humbug. Anyway, it's almost Christmas, and welcome to your ReadTheStars.com weekly horoscopes at work forecast. I'm Judy Vitale, your astrologer. And I am here also to tell you, in addition to all of the hubbub around the holiday, we will be receiving all of those difficult little irritating things happening around Mercury retrograde because it will begin that on Monday. Other events for this week are the winter solstice on Wednesday. Mars moving into Pisces also on Monday. Saturn trying Uranus exact hit on Saturday and then a really nice Sunday in a way, but we also have a lot of moon void of course periods to look out for. Aren't you glad you tuned in? Let me start with Monday. We're going to wake up. Um, first thing that is going to happen is Mercury. Actually, Mars is going to go into Pisces at 4.23 a.m. This will make people softer. With Mars and Aquarius, people were very much cut and dry about what their opinions were, and they had absolutely no trouble, trouble expressing them. Mars and Pisces will tend to have the effect of people holding back a bit. So if you feel yourself holding back, it's important to learn how to follow through so that you don't suppress negative emotions or difficult emotions. It's important to project them in a way that is assertive, not aggressive, and you can do that. And although Pisces doesn't really like to do anything that is anything but sweet, kind, and loving, there are moments when we do need to push out and, um, and be a little bit more forthcoming about what we're really feeling, especially at this time of year. Um, you know, spoiling Christmas isn't the matter. It's, it's that everybody deserves to have a fair chance at happiness every day. Mercury's retrograde begins on Monday, too. This will happen at 5.55 a.m. During Mercury retrograde, we're going to experience delays around transportation, difficulties with mechanical and electronic equipment, um, also communication errors. You might not get the address right when you're told where the party is, so be careful with everything. Leave extra time and cultivate a sense of patience and a really good sense of humor. So the rest of Monday is okay. We'll have a Virgo moon, so we'll be very organized around all of these things happening. Also, the moon will make a nice trine with Mercury while it goes retrograde and also with the planet Pluto. So um, I don't anticipate this Mercury retrograde to be incredibly bad, but um, it will be irritating if you're a Capricorn and probably also if you're a Cancer, Aries, or a Libra as well. And so... On Tuesday, we have the moon in Virgo going void, of course, between 8.56 and 9.40 p.m., and then the moon goes into Libra. There's your day to do your business. Get stuff done on Tuesday, okay? Wednesday is the winter solstice. Yes, winter is actually here, and that's not such a bad thing because the reason why we celebrate with light at this time of year is that at the winter solstice, the earth makes a turn so that those of us in the northern hemisphere will be receiving more light every day until we reach the first day of spring, which in my house we count down from now. <laughs> I'm not a cold weather person. So um, that's what will be happening for us on Wednesday. And then on Thursday, we'll also still have the moon in Libra. And it'll go void, of course, at 2.31 p.m. Now I'm going to say something. When the moon is void, of course, that's one thing. It's very difficult to make purchases, have your meetings work on time, and all of the other things that we like to do in order to connect with other people. When the moon is void, of course, and Mercury is in retrograde, it gets really difficult. So if you can avoid it all, anything that's very, very important after 2.31 Eastern time, Thursday afternoon, I would advise doing that. The nice thing about Thursday is that just before, before it goes void, of course, the moon is going to make a nice conjunction with Jupiter, which is going to be absolutely beautiful, very optimistic and hopeful, and then opposite Uranus, which will give us a, a splash of energy. So, um, you know, that's, that's just a fun kind of energy, and I would just say have fun on Thursday, and again, cultivate that sense of humor. On Friday, the void, of course, moon lasts until 9.32 a.m. Eastern Time. And this is another nice day, the 23rd. I call it Christmas Eve Eve. One of my favorite days is sort of when all of the craziness is over and you're really starting to totally feel the warmth of this holiday. And so um, you're going to get uh, a sextile moon to the sun and a trine to Mars, and that's all going to be quite nice as well. And then... 
on Saturday, we have Christmas Eve, the moon in Scorpio. And Saturn will make an exact trine with Uranus. This will bring structure to those things that seem a little bit erratic. And it will shake up the things that are kind of stuck in the mud. This is a nice cooperative energy between these two titans of the sky. And, um, you know, it's it's a way of sort of balancing out the, the uh, give and take between sticking with what you got and trying something new. And it's also Christmas Eve and it's in addition, the first night of Hanukkah. So happy Hanukkah to those of you who celebrate. And then on Sunday, Christmas Day, sorry to tell you, void of course, moon. What will this mean? Well, it might mean that you don't get what you want from Santa. You might have to go out there and, and uh, do a little bit of exchanging <laughs> during the sale time, which isn't always a bad thing. But there is going to be a lot of goodwill, despite any kind of logistical mix-ups. The Venus is going to be responsible for that. And this planet of love and, and, and sweetness and kindness is going to be making a trine with Jupiter, a sextile to Uranus, and a sextile to Saturn. And so all of the things that have gone on all week are going to come through Venus on Sunday. So open up your heart, welcome the light, uh, sustain yourself with the light of Hanukkah. And enjoy your Christmas and get ready. It's almost the last week of 2016. Hard to believe. And so much coming up on 20, in 2017. I can't wait to tell you about it. My schedule this week, I will be at uh, Green Arrows as usual, on Thursday afternoon. And any other time you want to see me there as well, you can, you can just um, contact me for an appointment. And I can see you anytime that's good for you there. Um, I also have new office facilities in Coterie downtown, which is a shared workspace. I'm going to be using that to see clients, and that's right across from the courthouse downtown Pittsburgh. And um, then, as always, at Journeys of Life, this week will be Friday from 1 o'clock to 5 o'clock at Journeys of Life, Christmas Eve Eve, everybody doing their last-minute shopping. Stop by. Get a read on your life while you're there, okay? I'm also available for services in life coaching, and now that I have completed my training with the Wellness Institute, I am, are you ready for this, an advanced clinical hypnotherapist. Oh my goodness, I'm so proud of that. What a wonderful program it is. Um, you know, I've been doing hypnosis for a long time now, but um, this this is uh, extra training that I wanted to go through in order to truly um, get the, the kind of benefit that I could from their wonderful program. So um, if you have any questions about any of those services, you can always check the website or just contact me at Judy, J-U-D-I, at readthestars.com.